What's it gonna take? We're in a panorama and people are still not washing their hands. You go, that's nasty. Very, very late. Oh my gosh. Today is not going according to plan. I haven't even uploaded my video that's usually up by midnight. Oh wait, I'm so rude of me. Hey, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another one if you're new to my guide. It's not called Alicia's Guide anymore, but you're tuned into another week of vlogs. I'm having a really late breakfast, as you can tell, some porage oatmeal. And of course, if you know me, it's always a matcha moment over here. Oh my gosh, guys. And there's not even enough matcha in here. And I'm in a rush. It's already after 11. I'm supposed to be on the subway by now, especially since the subway is the reason why I didn't wrap up yesterday's vlog, right? What had happened was I was on the train with my friend. He got off at Wellesley. I just closed my eyes. I was listening to a podcast with Krish Bosch. Next thing you know, I wake up and I'm at Queen. How did I end up at Queen Station when that's three south of Wellesley and I was going north? I fell asleep. No one poked me to wake me up when the subway went out of service. So it just went back to where it came from. And I was just like, yo, I don't know if it's because of the cocoa and people didn't want to like touch me to let me know that that was going out of service, but I just... And I have to head back downtown because we finally entered stage one of reopening so I can go to a street side store and return the shoes that I showed you last week that weren't working for me. I had three pairs, but I only wanted one, but I wasn't sure. And the other two don't fit. So that kind of narrowed it down a bit for me. Well, you look at the line already. I our bootlegged Toronto Square. I guess you call it New York Times Square. Oh wow, I barely made it. I don't even have that much drops on me. It's thunderstorm. I'm so excited to use this tonight. If you've watched my vlogs before, you already know I love the scrubby. This is the best thing ever. You don't even need to lotion after it on a hot summer day. Just scrub, it'll exfoliate, condition, moisturize, you're alive. Suggested or offered that if you know what you want to get, just tell them and they'll charge you outside. Because each line was 45 minutes. She said the middle is red, so I can't wait to use it. I might just let it scent up my bathroom because these bath bombs are so strong. Apple smell, I just said something refreshing. The first thing she said was avocado olive oil and I'm like, mm. Not necessarily something I would cook with refreshing, something more. And she's like, I got you. Glasses on, still getting used to these, but hopefully they will help me over time. They just make things bigger, but nothing's clear. I can't read what I already couldn't read, but hopefully at least the blue blocking will help when I edit, because that's what I got to do right now. I got my citrus drying in the rack as per usual. I need my, do I even have it here? Everything's got a sound effect. And what else do I need? I haven't made this cake in so long. I want to say it's cake flour and almond flour. Wow, that's like a good tablespoon wasted of ginger. You know ginger's not cheap? You don't want to waste your money. Giving messy today. What's going on? They say a cup. I say just under. When you float, zoom in.
it. And I mean, I'm making it look ugly now, but at least it's cooked all the way through. Ooh, don't mind the crater in the middle for me daggering it up. I almost think I overbaked it, but we'll see. Listening to the wind instruments, getting my little airy fairy on while I fill out forms. My address, why do you need my address? Bud. Halfway forward. Keep it down, lift it up, hit this. Lower and lift four, three, two, one. It's good for five, four. Good morning, it's still morning technically. And this is a telltale sign that I am really good at doing a no buy from now until November because she popped in tags every day. I have way too much clothes. Truth be told, even though my closets are full, I maybe have five things that still have tags on it, including this or the past tense. So at least I'm not the type that just buys to have. I do wear my clothes and I wear them a lot. But still, no more shopping. There's way more important things in the world than a wardrobe, you know? So what should I have today? Some cherry blossom, some cream of Earl Grey, some coconut matcha. These are all matchas, by the way, if I didn't say that already. <laughs> Maybe it's wild honey. I'm gonna try it and I'll see. It's Monday. Surprisingly, I'm in a good mood. I woke up at 6 a.m. Where has oat milk been all my life? Honestly, I started off with coconut milk. Still love it. Still one of my favorites. Cashew, which is really good, but better for baking than drinking. Almond milk is the OG classic. Soy, I never liked. I just, no, 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 no. Are you gonna pop up or no? There we go, there we go, there we go. Ooh, I should probably eat a real breakfast. This can just be like a little dessert before the breakfast. Ooh, it's tender though. You see the crumbs? I mean, it's a mess, but that's a good sign. <gasps> it's crumbling, which is so good. It's good. Why do I feel like this is not wild honey? I love how sweet but zesty it is. Dogs? Hey. This is from Anthropology. I already know. I didn't open it yet, but I already know since... I ordered some stuff in February. It is now June 14th. Is it Christmas up in here? Because this package was really unexpected. You cannot tell me that they couldn't have packaged this a little more eco-friendly. I know for a fact, nothing in this box will be broken, which I can't say the same for Urban. Anytime I order something fragile by Urban, I already have customer care on deck. Wow, this candle smells blessed. I haven't bought a candle since I moved out because when I moved here, I think I told you in last vlog or maybe beginning of this vlog that I had a lot of candles. I stored them all under here and it was coming out to the top. Whoa. This is giving black currant, something spicy. I can't really put my finger on it. And just heaven, just literally heaven. Like, ask Jesus, this is what heaven smells like. And I got these 30% off, because you know me, never pay full price for anything. That one is huge. Okay, this one, I don't know. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is this? Oh, <gasps> B.O. because the B.O. I've been hearing really good things about this brand. It's La Vanelle. And then of course, the coconut fiend had to get vanilla coconut. This reminds me of something from a long time ago. I can't put my finger on it. I just hope that it works. The review said it was one of the best natural deodorants in the world. There's a little box right here. I know what this is. This is something I wanted to order from last year. I caved in in February, because it's not cheap. It's, got, it's kind of embarrassing how expensive this is. I ain't telling you guys. Because I know my mom's watching this and I don't want to get a call after I post. Why do you spend so much on a electric lighter. It has my name all over it. Out of the three, this one is already my favorite. It's giving tropical. This is big. This is gonna last me two lifetimes. But um, it's beautiful. It smells incredible. I'm kind of wishing I bought two of these instead of those. I wanted to get the smaller version, but of course, by the time I finally caved in and clicked, it was sold out. I don't know what to get now. I'm stressed. <sighs> 
Should I try one of these? I don't know what to get. Should I get this? I never tried this before. I'm looking for braiding hair. Oh! I don't know, there's so much options. I just finished work about an hour ago, then I spent the last half an hour responding to comments. I set my timer for 10 minutes to see how many I could do, and I only did five comments. So, I mean, the zooming and zooming out, I'm not surprised it took some time, but honestly, out of everything, for me, YouTube, the comments are my favorite, so keep them coming. Let's show you what I ended up getting, because <laughs> that was so traumatic for no reason. I ended up going around the whole store and they had rows and rows and rows of hair. There was at least four aisles of hair. And what I needed was right at the front door. I don't know if you could hear me when I was telling you in the store. So I ended up getting this, which is the same brand from last year when I did my box braids. This year I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna do one long braid and see how long it lasts. And if I even like that, growing up as a kid, by the way, I noticed that even with these glasses, this left eye even looks more off kilter with my confidence but as I was saying as a kid all my mom would do is put my hair in one just one braid in the back I think in the last vlog I said she did that for five years but when I think about it I'm pretty sure she did it from grade three to grade seven and then I started getting my braids cornrows done and then I started trying to take care of my own hair which was a disaster so this is gonna be some fun I don't know if I'll do that tomorrow but what I will do tomorrow is try out this leave-in conditioner. I'm a little hesitant, not really fond of the sprays, but the one I went there for, all the way there for, was sold out, which is so strange because I called in for it two weeks ago and they're like, yeah, we have it, thinking that they would still have enough. The store's just open this weekend. I asked the cashier, he said that they've been sold out for three months. So it's not like it sold out over the last couple of days. They just never got it. I don't know why the girl that I called said they did. But it's okay. It's a chance for me to try this one out. It was around the same price. This one's $14. The one I wanted was $17. The one I showed you in the store was $22. And I said, not today. Now, how do I get this in there? I'm just going to drop it. Hey. It is 10 after 1. I haven't been up this late in a minute. I was editing. I was committed to finishing editing. So that as soon as I wake up tomorrow, I can put this to upload. Ordinarily, I would leave it to upload overnight, but since the computer is going to be on all day, since I'm working from home, I don't want to do that to the computer. If you hear the way it, sometimes it sounds when it's rendering, it's a ticking time bomb. But you know, it was worth it staying up. I had a good conversation with my friend from Sweden, and then I just wrapped up editing, and now I'm going to shower, wash my face. I don't know. I started getting all these zits out of nowhere. Not out of nowhere. I ate half the batch of cookies from last week so i mean it caught up with me morning morning and my order is a little bit off usually i do yoga before i do my hair but i was so eager to try this out it smells amazing it smells just like the cream from the same brand but i don't know if it's moisturizing it doesn't feel like much in my hand but maybe it's magic maybe it's me Malin. just kidding it's funny how there's certain slogans that will never get out of your head i turned around and my computer shut down <sighs> annoyed doesn't even begin to explain how i feel right now i can't get into it there's no point getting into it but look this didn't really help my hair at all product is a bust i changed my sheets and ever since then i just feel like i've been off beat i'm gonna do a quick 20 minute sesh and i'll save the rest for the after my shift because i have a meeting right at 11. <sighs> I'm just, I can't believe, first of all, that it's afternoon after ready, after ready. <laughs> it's afternoon already is what I'm trying to say. But hey, the faster the day that goes, the better I feel anyway, cause I mean, do you see what I'm doing here? Do you see? Cause I don't see. I always lean forward and I need to work on that. My posture's gotten so bad lately because I'm always trying to go into the screen. Imagine one day I might fall into the screen and enter an alternate universe. I always have to take it somewhere else for no reason. So I'm gonna finish my matcha. I think I'm gonna have another piece of cake. That cake is really good, eh? This shirt, I love it. 
very similar to yesterday. The only thing is that one pilled already. And you saw, I just popped the tag yesterday. I'm not used to these glasses still, not just in looking at them, but also the style of them. Do you guys like them? I don't know. I have 30 days to change my mind. And, oh, just took in that the Warby Parker store would be open now. So if I wanna go in, I should probably get an adjustment at the very least, cause when I took these off last night, I had an indent. A literal line where this is. I was thinking about stretching it myself, but I don't want to break these glasses. So instead, I might just take them in. Afternoon snack. I finally finished this two months later. Never buying it again. Well, I probably will. Let's be real. The collagen was helping. I actually noticed the wrinkles here. If you ever see my videos, look close, you'll see. I can see them clearly and that tells you because I don't see a lot clearly. This looks so disgusting though. This is what happens when you mix the spinach with a little bit of pineapple and a banana. So basically a strawberry banana with spinach and pineapple. Does this place look familiar to you? Can you even hear me? It's so oh. But yeah, I'm back at Shaw's and Don Mills. I don't know if you can but usually it's not this busy, but since things are slowly opening up. Would you believe I was using the washroom and I heard someone in the stall next to mine. They left, but didn't wash their hands. What's it gonna take? We're in a panorama and people are still not washing their hands. You know, that's nasty. So happy I saved some money just by going to the store and they don't do price adjustments. So pretty much what I did was I returned and repurchased it. But hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. It was a nice walk until it wasn't. I don't know, 21 degrees where, that's more like two degrees. I should have wore a coat. And to think I almost left my house in the shorts I was wearing earlier. Then I would have been really cold. Hey now, anyway, now it's time to eat. I'm not really hungry, so I'm gonna make a snack. I'm craving guac. But I'm also so cold that I want to have a really good cup of hot cocoa. Those two things don't match. Yum, yum, yum. quiet enough that you can hear me on the street. There's so much going around now that the city is open. It's getting busier each day. I can't believe it's Wednesday already, but also not Friday at the same time. not a million dollars though. Obviously, it is cold out there. 20 degrees where? I feel like I said that yesterday, but anyway, I'm gonna definitely wear a warmer sweat on the way back. I have about 40 minutes. I used the first 20 wisely. I got two fruits and there was no line, which is the first time in a long time. Ooh, what was this? Oh, my pen. It's okay, nothing, nothing crazy. Cause you know, I'm always breaking things up in here. But yeah, I'm in such a good mood. I'm gonna change into my yoga clothes real quick. Hopefully I don't break a sweat, otherwise I'm gonna have to shower. Ugh. We can take it as slow or as quick as possible. Just <laughs> Keeping your hands at the heart center. If you're going towards Warrior Three, you're still gazing forward. 
kind of. Well, and I also have a backup curry just in case we are not hungry, so <laughs> we can also eat the curry. Gosh, guys, look, Jeff is learning from the wine series. He has a Sauvignon, what it says, but I'll come in later. At the 2020 Santa Carolina Sauvignon Blanc with 2 grams of sugar, 13.5% Imagine if it just goes in Or just like into the hallway. Then you're just tempting them with all of your meal. So when you're gonna tell The way that too, she thinks it's special But it's all reused, that was the place I found it first I'll make the jokes you tell them Important grapes to make one? A swarm of ripe melon. I do not get that. She tastes and flows. He has a full size of it. This is not real life. Oh, yes, a, a, a batch, it's yeah. Like a batch is like good for three amounts. I don't know you could use the French press for a tea, though. I thought uh, the French press was only for coffee. Oh, well, I'm just putting, I'm using it as a container. I oh. Add sugar to it, then it becomes steep tea, and then you get all the acid out of it. Oh, it's very strong, so yeah. I'm warning you. That's good. I like strong. Really? Like, most of my tea are not strong enough because once you put milk in, it turns into uh, or any cream, it turns into like light nothing. Morning loves. Well, it's technically not even morning anymore. It just switched to noon. I finished my meeting. It's this meeting that we have with this company and it's actually pretty cool. I never thought I'd ever say that a meeting was cool, but the guy that's hosting it is so engaging and so interactive that the last three hours flew by. I'm deciding what I'm gonna do with my lunch break. I'm starving, so I'm definitely gonna eat right now. But should I go out for a walk? They're testing the fire alarm. It's been going off all day in between answering questions in the meeting. I'm like, sorry, they're testing the alarm. <laughs> See what I mean? Announcement saying that it's gonna be 45 minutes of test. I thought the morning was the test. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I have the best neighbors ever. I know I say that every vlog, but literally, seriously. I was coming out of the elevator and I just said hi because everyone always says hi. It's a great vibe in this building because sometimes I visit other people in their buildings and ain't got that energy. So I love that everyone here, except for one person, has a common courtesy to say hi, talk about the weather or catch up if you've seen them over the years. So anyways, one of my neighbors was saying something, but I had my pod on, so I pressed pause and I said, pardon, but I still couldn't hear her, so I took out my headphone, dropped the case, because it wasn't broken from last week's drop, and then she's like, your curls are so nice, and I was so shocked, I said thank you, because first of all, she said it not once, but twice, since I didn't hear it the first time, and I always think it's nice when someone goes out of their way to compliment. Then two, I was literally just thinking I want to shave my whole head off because if you've seen how my curls look back back in the day, then you'd know why I'm always complaining. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. I've made an active decision. I hope you noticed in the last couple of vlogs to not complain as much, although it's been on my mind all this time because what 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 is this? But it's nice to know that someone else sees what I don't find beautiful, beautiful. Same goes for these glasses. You know, in full transparency, I was hella insecure when I tried these on for you guys. I hadn't even seen what they looked like on me until after I looked in the mirror after filming. So it was a lot to put these on for the first time because I don't wear glasses, as you know, regularly. And now I'm getting used to doing it again. Not that it's helping with my everyday life, but at least blue light blocking. But it's so kind of you guys to compliment and say it suits me and you like the style. It just, it's the little thing. It's 7.47. I was going to post it at midnight tonight, but I'm just gonna post it now as soon as I get the right end card, because I have options. I think 
which one's smaller? I think it's this one. So let's try and take it over to the five people you meet in blindness. It's inspired by Mitch Abelman's book, The Five People You Meet in Heaven. I have so many videos that I have pre-recorded in the pipeline that I am overly hyped to share with you guys. There's some sentimental ones like this. There's others that it's just the foolishness. And then there's vlogs, which again, you guys like. So keep hitting the like button so I know you like them and the algorithm knows too. I was listening to Kim from 4 Harriet before I started doing my own thing. She posts, I click. Surprised no one's made a song about Google. Of all the foolishness and effery, I was gonna say the full word, but we're trying to keep this PG. Five peeps you meet, maybe a PNG. You see the zoom and repeat, that's all I do every day, and we bout it every day, every day, every day. I need Drake to make a rap song about how much I have to zoom in and out. Ask any YouTuber, unless they're an actor or performer, filming is the least favorite part. The best part for me is the comments and then the editing. I love it so much. They legit take 20 hours, and I'm like, what am I doing for 200 views? E3. Hopefully, this is not annoying to you guys. And then I think it comes in. No, bust it. Bust it. Bust it. Feeling that song a little too much. That was a good throwback, wasn't it? Now, time to light it up. Take it on me. I went to not one but two grocery stores in the neighborhood because I wanted to get some salmon. Don't know if I'll have this tonight, but at least I got enough stuff to last me the weekend. And hopefully by Monday, Tuesday, the weather's good enough to go on a mission to the faraway supermarché where I usually get everything from. And then when I just need last minute things or the weather's not good, I know I should have went yesterday, but I just didn't feel like going grocery shopping yesterday. I can't see the screen and she didn't tell me what the total was. When I got home and zoomed in, I was like, hola, how is this receipt saying $13 when I got two items? You mean to tell me? Cause this is like 99 cents. So the cherries are basically $13. And I went to the store to be like, hey, can you just do a price adjustment? Because there's no way that this is $13 because I always buy around the same amount. $8 makes more sense. She measured it on her scale and she's like, it's $11, but I can't give you any money back. There's no refunds. I'm like, I'm not looking for a refund, but obviously if you measured it, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna take cherries out and then bring back half the bag. It's the exact same amount of cherries that I bought a day ago. And she measured it again on another machine and it said $8. So how do you go from 13 to 11 to eight, depending on what's Some croissants you saw, I was struggling between these ones and the powder one. I'm like, what's the difference? They just look different, right? So I got some pain du chocolat. I'm supposed to go swimming four times a week. Ask me how tiny, <laughs> ask me how many times I've been. Wasn't there five minutes ago, so he's eager too. I don't think you could pay me to go swimming. It's too windy for that. <sighs> Who knows who touched it? Who knows where it's been? Ever since Sea Spiracy, chlamydia and the salmon. Ugh. Ew, see, even when I rinse it, what is that white? They're both gonna get a little bit of pepper because it's an occasion for Cajun. Potatoes are gonna get Italiano. I need another oil substitute. I've been hearing that olive oil is not good for cooking, so I doubt it's good for roasting. There's not that much oil at the bottom of either of them. Plus, like when I put it in there, it's gonna burn it up. But yeah, I don't wanna use avocado oil because that's way expensive. So if you have any suggestions, let a girl know. It should be hot enough. We'll see. Nope. Let's see how this. Ooh, saucy and tender. I love Brussels sprouts. Seasoned right, they're so delicious. Not too shabby, huh? <laughs> I keep having the weirdest dreams every single morning. Not only that, I always wake up with the sniffles. I'm so tired, I can't speak. Ah, you know those days. I feel this way too. Okay, let's go to the pool for a quick swim because I got to come back up to film. I knew I should have filmed yesterday. I don't know what I'm scared of. It's not even deep.
healthy, healthy croissant. Questionable. There we go. I only have two text stories. I need one more. Yes, I'm using a fork. still deciding. I'm gonna get the cow soy and then a papaya peach IPA and I'm kind of craving the scooers too but since I never finished the cow soy I probably shouldn't order that too. Look what Axel ordered. This is insane. <laughs> Meanwhile me. I'm so tired. It's not even seven o'clock yet. That was so good. I haven't seen Abzul in such a long time, so it's good to catch up with him. Now I'm gonna unwind a little bit, but not too much, because I have to edit the What in the World video, so it's up by midnight tonight, so stay tuned for that. I think this is a good time to wrap up this vlog, seeing as everything I've left to do tonight is boring AF, and I don't wanna put you through that. So I will see you tomorrow, aka next week in vlog world. I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, tap the like, subscribe and share to show you care. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later. There we go.